Hi, I wanted to briefly discuss a fascinating case related to a young 40-year-old patient with history of alcohol abuse. As everyone knows, alcohol is, at the end of the day, a toxin, a poison, and it can lead to significant impairments both in personal and social life. It leads to over 40,000 deaths directly every year in the United States. This patient uh, had asked us to apply a TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation protocol, to modify the circuits that involve craving for substances such as alcohol. There has been a lot of research in this area with respect to modifying brain circuits that lead to addiction to substances, including that of alcohol. And so uh, following uh, several clinical trials, we applied this particular protocol to this uh, uh, patient. And just to show you some objective changes, we saw significant changes in the beta power, that is high frequency band on quantitative EEG across uh, 20 to 30 hertz. As you can see at baseline on the left side of the screen, there's significant dysregulation, i.e. elevation in the frequency of brain uh, activity in these regions in the central and frontal leads. And that is nearly resolved after 30 sessions. What's interesting also is on more advanced EEG uh, imaging, we see significant dysregulation at approximately two standard deviations away from normal in the central leads, specifically the uh, precuneus and parts of the default mode network, which is a circuit in the brain that is ubiquitous uh, and involved in many functions. Uh, following uh, approximately 20 sessions, we see some, some improvement, which uh, results in 1.61 standard deviations down from two. And finally, by 30 sessions, we see a significant improvement uh, basically resolution of the dysregulation in those same regions at a standard deviation of 0.92. Now, uh, what's even more fascinating is that this patient reported feeling significant reduction in his craving for alcohol. He no longer actually liked the taste of alcohol. He felt that there is absolutely no desire for him to drink despite being placed in social settings and other types of events that uh, often revolve around alcohol use. He was able to now enjoy the same types of moments without the use of alcohol with both his family, friends, and otherwise. And this is a person who is often involved with events and such that involve alcohol use. And uh, he's developed strategies to, in fact, reduce the social pressure to drink alcohol. And what's even more, uh, 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 fascinating is that he's developed uh, new hobbies and uh, f feels his anxiety, sleep, and other things that were uh, causing a lot of discomfort and disability have also improved. Uh, this protocol has been clinically evaluated through rigorous research, and we have actually uh, been able to apply this a few other in a few other instances, including eating disorders for certain foods, and uh, currently nicotine. Uh, abuse and craving. And uh, we are gaining more experience with this and I wanted to share this briefly with you. It's very exciting because uh, substance abuse, including that of alcohol, uh, is a huge problem in society and uh, we are now able to modify brain circuits that are involved with those types of addictions. Thank you for your attention.